Hey guys, here's my inverter uh, that I blew up and I'm in the process of uh, swapping out those caps. I also bent this, uh, you probably can't see it, it might be a little too dark, but there's a fuse in there. I bent it out of the way because I'm sure that thing smoked. I um, plan on taking that out and replacing that. You can still see the capacitor uh, paper all over the place in here, but I got my new caps. I'm just getting around to uh, putting this thing back together and um, hopefully it's gonna work. So uh, I got the caps in their electrolytic uh, cap capacitors, which means they're uh, polarized. And if you put them in the wrong way, they'll blow up. So get a couple of these uh, solder joints soldered up here, and uh, we're gonna see if we can get that fuse out of there next and see where we go from there and then I'll be a little more cautious if I get this sucker working these things are kind of a joke to me anyway I just got it because it's kind of a fun amusement um, I think they're kind of ridiculous and silly you know but they're they're a hell of a lot cheaper than the uh, you know the commercial big dogs like the Xantrex or the I don't know the Xantrex XW or the other ones that uh, that grid tie but uh, you're gonna pay uh, you know thousands for those this is just something to experiment around with and have fun so what I like to do is uh, cut my leads off after I have them soldered and just get a little more uh, so go over the solder joints again make sure they're cool I got a lot of, uh, I believe they're FETs, transistors, um, I'll show you in a minute what I mean, but there are, uh, these two uh, pieces of aluminum are heat sinks and I got a lot of FETs bolted to those and I'm trying to be careful, I don't want to bend the leads there. And I've done it a couple times so I got that little clamp in there kind of just supporting it up while I weld this on so I'm going to try to get that fuse out and I'll be back in a minute little update um, I got the caps in you can see those sitting there and I found out that fuse that burn up fuse here I don't know if you can see that yeah I'm sure you can that burn up fuse actually popped in these little spade lug connectors after I used about a mile of that um, you know solder wick remover this stuff right here I use that desoldering braid and I used uh, a solder sucker. What you do is you push that down, you heat up your solder joint, push the button, and boom, push the vacuum and sucks it up. Um, so, anyway, I gotta get a fuse before I can tell if this thing works. Uh, I'm thinking about jumping it, and I might do that just temporarily just to see if it works. A couple other things. This is a something that uh, I plan on wrapping around, this is a piece of aluminum, I plan on wrapping around some copper pipe, you know, making quite a few of these guys, and uh, we're creating a solar uh, water heater, but more to that later. There's a hub, and a disc, that's for that, having some problems with that. First of all, my CV joint clamp fell off. I rebuilt that CV joint last year. Um, might have to replace the tie rod because my, uh, my tires are kind of bowing out a little bit. Uh, anyway, yeah, so there's quite a few pieces on here. I know this has nothing to do with my project, but I got them soaking in gas. You can see all the bearings everything um, just kind of cleaning them up while I'm waiting on parts my four-wheel drive uh, had a problem on this and uh, there's an aluminum part called a roll cage no sorry it's a cage roll now that I think about it I know it's backwards from one of them tubes you put around a vehicle to keep it from rolling over so it's a cage roll um, 
it's just a little aluminum piece that fits in there that they charged me $90 for which I either did it and I fix it or I don't um, just another side project and on top of that I got a clutch kit here a couple, a couple springs to put in the clutch replace um, and this is an EPI kit Here's a new helix for the clutch. I'll be putting that in. That's my next project. Uh, waiting for parts to come in, so I'll get this thing uh, tested here soon. Matter of fact, I'm going to set up a jumper on that. I'm going to plug it in and see if it works. I'll be right back. All right. I've got it jumpered. Right there, there's no fuse. I got a couple batteries, 24 volt. I got the ready light on, which is good. I'm stealing a battery. Look at all those batteries I got. Those uh, came out of a computer backup system. I don't know how many are here, maybe 20, 25. So here goes the silly part. I'm gonna plug it in. Hopefully those LEDs are gonna start cycling. Or I'm gonna see sparks, one of the two. Here it goes. And it's in. Let's see what happens. There it goes, folks. I'm not seeing smoke. That's good. Happy to see that work. I'm feeding power back in. I got a kilowatt meter. I guess I could plug it in there to see. Uh, I don't know if this is going to. I don't even know how to use this. Well, I kind of do. There's watts. So right now I'm putting 89 watts, 91 watts. I don't know if you could see that. Let me zoom up. Yeah, I'm putting 92 watts back into the grid, and I'm not sure the status of these um, these batteries here. And I know it also depends on how much my house is using um, versus how much goes into the the quote grid, I guess. Uh, it varies but anyway there you got it I'm happy to see that uh, I'm gonna have a repair done I'm going to uh, get a fuse throw it in there I'll be good to go thanks for watching